Hi there, this is Ryan back with RG Sauce Review. Um, I'm not going to eat this 7 Pot Dougla. I'm not afraid of it, but I, I think I'm kind of wised up and saying, well, you know what? We need to show people what to do with this stuff. And what I'm doing is just one of the many examples of what you can do with these wonderfully hot peppers. Um, this right here, I'm going to make a spicy lime cilantro marinade for some flank steak. I um, think it'll be savory, a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of bitterness to it, but it will complement the marinade real well and make bring out the flavors and, you know, both the pepper will come out, but it also complement the meat as well. So we'll be right back to show you the process of making the marinade and then cooking the meat. Hey, it's Ryan with RG Sauce back to start another edition of what do we do with super hots? Well, in question today is you need Trinidad Seven Pot Dougla. Well, with the Dougla, I am going to make a spicy cilantro marinade for some flank steak. The ingredients are pretty, it's a pretty simple list. You got about a cup of cilantro, freshly, loosely packed of a cup. Then you got a half a red onion. Well, this is a little bit more because I got to make uh, a hot version and a non-hot version. So a little bit more red onion than I got. Well, I need about a half onion medium size, whatever. Then you got about four to five cloves of garlic, chopped up, however you want to do it. And about a tablespoon and a little bit over of a coriander. And of course, I got only one dougla, because one's enough. And then over here I have about a, ta a little bit over a tablespoon of honey and some oil okay all you gotta do well it's pretty simple you just combine all the ingredients so here I'm gonna go ahead and put go ahead and start putting the cilantro and my food processor bowl some onion All the garlic, okay, the time, I said, okay, I, when I said the ingredients, it was not coriander, that's for another video, but this is time. Silly me, sorry about that blooper. And last but not least, and I am not going to do this by hand like I did the other ingredients. That's crazy. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off, put the dougla in there with the other ingredients, which I still have to put the honey and the oil in there. And I'm going to go ahead and process it and get it a nice even consistency. Be back in a few. Okay, folks, I am back. Um, I failed to mention that I also used about two limes worth of, uh, well, the juice of two limes in this mix. Now, as you can see, I got a nice mixed consistency. Over here, I have my flank steak in a gallon storage bag. Now, the rest is pretty darn simple. Just marinate it. I mean, put it in the bag with it, work it in there, massage it a little. Um, and it, depending on how you like it, I like to, mar I mean, go ahead and marinate for at least eight hours before I. Uh, 
before I put it on the grill or cook it, whatever. Um, so about eight to ten hours, I like to marinate it for. And then once I'm done, I make sure that all the marinade is off of the meat, and then I like to rub it down with some salt, maybe some pepper, and grill it. And then after I do that, I'm gonna slice in little pieces and put it in, you know, a tortilla with perhaps some kind of salsa or whatnot. So, um, let's go ahead and let it marinate and I will be back as soon as possible. Hey folks, it is done marinating. It's been in there well over eight hours. I have it sitting on the plate and normally I would go ahead and wipe off the excess marinade which is really not that much and I think once it's on the grill it'll help even cook in the flavors a little bit more um, you can see the specks of dougla some cilantro garlic um, well after you can get it out of the refrigerator you want it to sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes and while you are letting this sit out at room temperature you might as well go ahead and start the grill up to a good, you know, medium-high temperature. Um, okay, well, we'll be back in about 20 minutes or so or after it gets done cooking. See you. Back, folks. Um, I've already taken out the grill, sliced it up a little, tried a piece of it. The Dougla flavor still stands out even though there's not much pepper flakes on it. Um, it has the you know citrusy taste of the Dougla with the bitterness that the Dougla has. Um, the heat wise, not quite like if you were just to take the pepper itself and chomp on it, but uh, it does have noticeable heat in this meat still I mean it's not overwhelming but then again I haven't ate numerous pieces of it yet um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a tortilla with a little bit of beans um, some cheese some sour cream and a little salsa make myself a little simple taco out of it so uh, with that being said there you go a spicy Dougla cilantro marinated flank steak. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe gave you some watching this. Maybe gave you guys some ideas what to do with the Dougla. Have a wonderful evening, folks.